the recording of Joy was pretty fun. Uh, decorations aren't what we usually do when recording, but for this session we had Christmas lights up around the studio and we placed some small items to kind of help give the space a nice holiday vibe. I wore some uh, reindeer antlers and Jessica wore turkey legs on her head. Um, Saul dressed in a green shirt with this kind of suit vest, which I guess is Christmassy when you're a hard rock kind of guy. The year before, we had done a small Christmas theme session. Jessica and I did an all overdub version of the song 2000 Miles. but I think everyone wanted to do something a little bit bigger and definitely something live. The original tune is Johann Sebastian Bach's Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring. In 1971, a British band named Apollo 100 did the groovy 12-8 rock version with the lead organ and harpsichord that we know today. And this is the version that became so iconic it's been used in movie soundtracks as a period piece for the 1970s. As it turns out, when you play Bach fast, it's hard. It's really hard. Every note counts. I had to learn a whole new right hand technique just to play the melody. Rob was totally stressed out about the whole situation. I think it was his first time playing with the coalition and he plays the melody along with me. He didn't smile once during the recording session. Not once. Usually small things like hand claps and shakers would have been done as overdubs, usually by SRT students. But for this session, I wanted all of that to be played live by Elaine and Jessica. Being a musical geek that I am, I actually own two sets of sleigh bells and I had them play both of them in stereo. During the session we have all kinds of cameras, uh, GoPros, iPhones, whatever it takes to capture the session on video and uh, since he's been playing with the group Alex's camera always seems to have an issue with it and in this case he's completely out of focus. But no matter, in the end, I think Chris, our drummer, really just plays his tail off and you can hear it on the recording. The band really solidifies around his groove and as the song progresses, we really ride that wave and um, I think everyone who hears our recording of the song is really gonna be bobbing their heads when we get to that last section. 